Hello magical one! In today's video I'll show you why making your own witchy decoration just is the best. These simple yet magical DIY ideas will ensure that your home is ready for the season of the witch. So grab your favorite mug, make yourself some tea and let's craft some enchanted witchy Halloween inspired home decor. When it comes to decorating for autumn and Halloween, I absolutely love creating a magical fusion of cozy fall aesthetics and spooky vibes. And that's exactly what I wanted to create with my decor today. Creating a space that's both inviting and slightly mysterious. Cozy yet with a hint of spookiness. If you saw my last video where I take you with me to spend an autumn day as a witch together, you probably saw me sitting on a sofa that was pretty empty and not cozy at all. So I made it my mission to create something that would give the sofa a more cozy and witchy autumnal look. For that I finally filled the pillowcases I bought like a century ago with pillow fillings. And I love these gentle browns and herbal greens combined with sunflower yellow and I really love when different styles clash together but still look organized. But because it is Halloween soon, I also wanted to make something more spooky as well. So I decided to craft a bed cushion that would make a bold accent to the cozy cottagecore aesthetic. Now all that was left was to fill my new bed friend with fluffy cotton. And you can even turn the pillow into a magical sachet by adding ingredients like lavender or any other herbs that enhance your spell. And with that the first witchy Halloween DIY was finished. Of course pumpkins are a must for the season of the witch but I really didn't want any plastic pumpkins or something like that so I decided to make wool pumpkins from this wool that I bought a while ago because I really wanted to try needle felting. Okay, listen, I know this turned out way smaller than probably all of us expected, I know, but I'm really happy that at least I could finish it last night. I worked for two more hours, I think it was, because the fabric, the black fabric that you saw that I thought was really cute because it gave this fluffy look to the bed was not 
of a good quality like I kept sawing and it kept falling apart so I used the red fabric and I thought this would stabilize the whole thing but it did not so I really ended up using just a normal I think it is a jersey fabric and it is not exactly what I expected but I really really love it I think this could really go well maybe even as a needle pillow for sewing I can use it as a sachet if I want to and yeah overall I really really love it next time I am definitely making a bigger pillow because as you can see the shape is not totally clear you can see that it is a bed but it is not like the sharp wings that I wanted but as I said not all DIYs turn out exactly as we expected but I still love it I'm really happy that I managed to finish it because I was really at that point where I wanted to give up but I was like on this channel we don't give up So it is actually the next day, if you can maybe tell by my outfit change and I really love this blouse, I thrifted it in South Korea and it is kind of a mixture between grandma, witch and it also gives me Alice in Wonderland vibes because it has this really dreamy pattern so it's just perfect for autumn. And now we are going to do some other DIYs that I couldn't finish yesterday and we need a book that we are basically going to destroy and I don't have any books that I want to destroy so there is no flea market or anything today but we have these bookshelves in Germany where you can basically take books for free and maybe yeah give a book or like put a book inside in exchange so this is what we are going to do and yeah then there is only a few DIYs left and then we are ready for the reveal and proof that making your own witchy home decor really is the best so if this sounds good then keep on watching and let's go So I saw these glass domes with parchment rolls or book pages inside and I thought that this would be perfect for a witch like me to really give that enchanted vibe because these pages include some secret knowledge and are protected by a spell so no one can open the glass. Okay, well, it seems like we have to redo the spell but I really love the aesthetic of it and yeah, here I'm just 
covering the pages in some magical paint that makes them look like they have been inside since forever and they really contain some secret hidden knowledge. So another idea I wanted to try out for the longest time is making taxidermy insects. But don't worry, of course we are not going to use real ones, we are using these fake plastic insects that I'm spray painting here and I spray painted them with some gold color to make them look like they are basically some magical insects. And I also wanted them to look like they have been on their wooden discs for quite some time. So I glued them on with my hot glue gun and then basically just covered them in moss in different colors and variations because that's what's making every single piece of home decor witchy and this is moss. So I feel like moss is the magical recipe for every single home decor that you have because it really makes your home feel like you are living in an enchanted forest and that's at least what I'm aiming for. But yeah, I think these are really perfect for also the dark academia aesthetic because it adds this macabre elegance to your home and yeah, they are perfect for Halloween as well, I think. And I mean, isn't that proof that making your own witchy home decor just is the best? I mean, look at it, it turned out so, so cute. And there is just something about making your own home decor for autumn and Halloween and like any other season really, because you can really add whatever you like to it. You can make it personal and unique to you. And that is exactly what happened here. And I just really love how it looks like the bug friend has been covered in moss and leaves and acorns for like centuries. And I also found this white fern from another DIY project, which I think really made a lot of difference. And it really adds to this dark cottage core aesthetic. But yeah, I really, really love how it turned out. And I cannot wait to make another one. And after that, we will put them up on the wall and I'm really excited to see how it looks like. I think it will look really, really cool. And yeah, I just really love it with the moss and everything on it. So yeah, with that being said, let's make a second bug friend. So that little guy here is not alone hanging out on the wall. And then yeah, we have some other fun DIYs that we are going to do together. So let's do that.
So I really love Halloween, but I don't really like creepy decor like skulls or something like that. I just don't like the overall vibe and energy that brings into my home. So that's why I decided to make a cute little ghost that could even light up a dark corner of my room at night. So there is no secret spooking in my house. But yeah, I created a basic shape with a glass and pipe cleanser as well as a balloon. And then I simply use PVC glue mixed with water and some cotton gauze to create that ghosty ghosty aesthetic. And next I also tried out some objects that our new ghost friend could hold, for example a witch's broom or maybe a pumpkin, but you will see what I decided for in a second. And of course every real ghost needs some eyes so there you go see your spooky world through your black eyes so yeah why is he so cute and i decided that i would put a spider on him because i just thought that looks hilarious with that face there is a spider on you So I have this tiny candle holder and I thought this would be perfect to make some enchanted candles and really give it this haunted look and for that you simply need some warm water and you put your candles inside so you can bend them because now the wax is a little bit more moldable and that's what I'm doing right here. And I really, really love it. I think this is such a fun and easy idea to just add some spookiness to your candle and yeah, just make it look like you are living in a haunted castle. Alright magical one, there you have it. This is my proof for you that crafting your own witchy home decor really is the best. It makes so much fun. And yeah, as always, let me know what your favorite idea was. For me personally, I really, really love how the enchanted book pages came out. I love how they look like with the moth and the antique look in this glass dome that looks really cute on its own as well but yeah I didn't think they would turn out so so magical and yeah beautiful so highly recommend trying this it is so easy but I really think giving that color to the pages and making them look like yeah they have been sitting in there for centuries really was the final touch that kind of added this certain extra to this idea but yeah this was my favorite and by the way, how do you like our new ghost friend? Like, I think he turned out hilarious. I didn't know that the balloon would have a weird shape like this. And that's why the head of the ghost has this kind of weird shape as well. But I didn't want to buy a new balloon. So I was like, you know what, let's just go with it. It's fun. It's hilarious. And I also love how the face of the ghost really is kind of mirroring the surprise that there is a little spider crawling up the arm of the ghost so that was a lot of fun as well so i put some fairy lights inside and yeah so it can also kind of be a source of light at night so there is no yeah secret spooking in my area right here in my apartment but that was a lot of fun as well and by the way, we just reached 2000 subscribers. So thank you so, so much to each and every single one of you who decided to join. And there is so many of you guys who have been with me since the beginning. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful and thankful. And if you have not already been a subscriber, but you watched until here, we should be friends because I think we have a lot of fun here and we do a lot of magical and creative things. We go thrifting 
all that kind of good stuff. So let's be friends, subscribe to the channel and like the video, share it to someone who may yeah, like the content as well. And I think we will hang out again next week or I don't think, I know we will hang out again next week. So I hope you have a good week and see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>